to start the show, you're going to tell them. Hello. Hey good guys. evening, good evening, good evening. Hi. And oh. welcome back to Vape Lounge <laughs> NI. Um, as the astute of you may notice, there is a bunny missing off screen. But she's um, in Scotland at the moment. So we had actually hoped that she might have come on and told us a little bit about the Scottish vape meet that happened yesterday. Um, oh. What? Oh, I was just reading that message up there at the top. Hi Village, hi Rog, hi Bill. Very low in numbers this evening I see, but hey ho. It's not, it's not about numbers, it's about quality and we've got quality in this evening because we've got Village, we've got Mr. Bill Richard and we have Roger the Instagram <laughs> vapes. Hey Roger. Hey Bill. <laughs> hey Village. Folks, if I seem in a bit of pain this evening, um I A popped my kneecap at the weekend. Um while we were out. Oh we've lost somebody. Have I upset Rog? Bill or Village? Who did I upset? Who did that who did I upset? I don't know. Can you hear us okay? Nope. I've upset village. Then, oh, there's five in now. Not, not, not me. Roy Babes. Hiya, Phil. Hiya, Gav. Hey, Gav. You off, the, you off the, the beers tonight? Gav was on the beers last night. Oh, dear. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I popped a kneecap on... Friday night and then I just went to tidy something over there and um, I slipped and twisted my knee again and it is absolutely throbbing at the minute and it's in a I don't know if you can see it's in a Robocop cast yeah I feel like I'm Robocop look Hey Jude! <laughs> hey John! Hey John! Hey Jude! I'm Melinda! Long time no see! <gasps> e. Ouch! <laughs> that is quite low, that camera tonight. That is low. My chair's low as well. But that camera's a lot lower than normal because you normally can't see something that sits on the. I think it's really good. Thing. And there's Sainty! Hey Saint! Yeah. Michelle likes low things tonight. I know. Well, I, I had my chair up high and he gave me in trouble because I almost broke it like twice, so I did break it twice. Yeah. Nurse here, so don't know how long I had it. Oh send, my god. Send her over here for this one, John, please. Oh, John. <laughs> he needs a lend of a nurse I'm, tonight. Um, sorry to hear that, mate. Hope you're hope you're well. Oh, John. Get better soon. Hope you didn't hurt yourself too much. And more importantly, how's the floor? How's the floor? We've been plague ridden here for over the past couple of weeks. Oh. So Michelle, may as well ask you, what are you vaping on? Everything. <laughs> yeah, everything's <Is> right. <laughs> well, I've got the Artery Pal stick. Oh, there it's over there. It's up there now. I can't get used to this setup. And then there I've got something. Um, and there I've got pod salt. Bubble blue. It's my favourite one. And I've got the Nord as well, in shiny rainbow colour. That's her second one. She <laughs> broke her first one. Oh boy. Okay. And in that I've got Zap. Bloop. And it's summer cider and it's yum, I like that one. Bloop. And then I've got I've got my top side and it's currently empty at the moment because I just finished it. And I'm gonna put some U Blow number six candied raspberries with a surprise centre and it's actually really good. And that's all right. No, I've got my legend with the orfer fur fur. And then that I've got Dr. Blue Dr. Blue. Dr. Vapes, that blue stuff. But I've not got a bottle up for me, so it's fine. So she's lying. So. I'm not lying. Look, it's blue. It's green. Actually it's well It's green. Yeah, because the coil's gone dodgy. I thought it was the green stuff you had on it. No, I had that in it and then I put Dr. Vapes yeah. that blue stuff in it. My, my buffet is a little bit simpler. I've got the dual top side with the bonds on top. And I've 
got some of this ABC Enigma which is coming up for review very soon that's why I'm vaping it um, where did I? nothing left no no it's here I've got my as vape strider lucky enough Bunny's not here she's like gimme gimme she's gonna gimme 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 with the wasp nano um, RTA on top of it and in that I've got my juice of 2018 in it which is oh wrong way around vape star ink red laces and no it's not a bottle from last year um, I got two more, four more bottles of this. There's another um, one. Got, I bought them. There's not another one. Um, because <laughs> I also got, well, I got this range here in from the same company from Vape Shack, um, which is Nan's Kitchen, which I'm currently quite enjoying at the moment. Oof. My hubby ordered me the very last Labonza stack kit this morning. Ooh. Ooh. Andy Summerfield, boohoo. It's not Heisenberg Village. Ugh. That's not Don't Heisenberg. talk to me about Topside. I ordered mine on the second of last month and it still ain't come. How do you put a page in a camera? Is that all your day film? Um, yeah. What about this week then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got the IPV V3 Mini. How are you liking yours, Bill? Where's my book? Oh, there's the book. I forgot. I've got my Meepod too and look, it's tartan. And in there I've Thank got you. some iced pineapple. Oh Saint E, I dropped everything. How did Michelle drop a ten ml bottle? It's actually a five ml bottle, Saint E, that's that's the five ml bottle. The bottle? And that's a ten ml bottle. Okay. In Michelle's hands. Look. Five ml and ten ml. My hands look big on this camera tonight. <laughs> I look big on this camera tonight. I'm seriously considering Sam's new oh the blotto. Bill, yeah, I've saw that. Um I've not seen it. I, I think I'm going to wait and see, first of all. I'm gonna get Bogan to sign it at Expo. I'm going not totally for sure. Also sort of out free accommodation for the weekend on Friday. Was it the blotto? IPV is absolutely banging. Our our DA. Village, isn't it? It is it's the bees knees. I just RT. It's a yeah tank. Wow, oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Does look it's awesome. Like skull on it and everything. But no IPV. I just I can't fault this wee thing. It hasn't put a beat wrong, and it gets used every day. And with me out doing photography at night for five or six hours at a time, you know this thing absolutely. Can't, but I can't wait, Bill, Bill, Bill. Can't wait, Revo. Can't wait, Revo. <laughs> oh, I wish we were going in October. Yeah, so do I. It's too expensive. We're going to get the blues. Pinks, oranges, greens. Everything. Absolutely everything. Well, I haven't got anything new to really talk about in. So, yeah, because I've got that. Um, I suppose there is that. I think we showed that. Uh, yeah, we showed time, that last we? time. I remember showing this one. The Orfs. And we've got that last yeah, time. Lotto RTA. Shopping. He's just done a preview. He's working with Doug Poe on it. I'm going to get one too, Bill. The build deck is really interesting. Yeah, that's. I haven't seen. I've only ever seen the full tank put together. I haven't seen the build tank build I've, deck. I've never actually. So, I only. It was two days ago I seen it. Um, that's why I'm waiting to see what the build deck's like because at the minute a lot of the tanks are starting to become the same as pods the same mm -hmm. Revo is taking too long it is they need to hurry up and get that out they now. do I totally agree with you Bill that it's taken far too long to get it out um, but I would rather them take that little extra bit of time when it's been three years so far mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, because they've heard what they showcased it in May, didn't they? So I'm hoping they bring it out before the end of the year, like before Christmas. Sorry, 
I need to put my leg around this way. So you're going to have to bear up <laughs> seeing my leg on camera. <sighs> I do apologise. Royce, what? Roy, once you finish tonight, check out his YouTube. He's just released a preview for it while, you, while you've been broadcasting. He should have come live on here, Melinda. We should have got him on. We should have got Bogan on here live. Showing it live. I know. I'd never heard of it until now. <laughs> Sam's just previewed it and it's different. Melinda, send him a message. Just tell him, you know, we live show here and that's on the UK. and Tell him we're interested and we want to get him on to have a wee look at it. Feeling that. Hey Chris, <coughs> just seen your message that you've um, got your your v vlog rendering. Is it um, a Christoph production or a Christina production? Oh my god, that Christina bloody thingy was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, Chris, your. Um, I was waiting this up. It was so funny. You, um, your review. Or your Christina review was was funny. She's fabulous, darling. Very fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should let her take over oh, more yeah. of your. Oh yeah. Her her no, makeup Christina, artist. Her is makeup away. artist. Yeah, that's that's true. You could have. Oh, I thought did. you'd have enough practice by now, Chris, and seeing what she's doing. Go on, Melinda. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Enri pops in for five minutes. Just to give us all a quick. Oh, here it is. Mm. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't think he would, though. I think he he's probably too busy and everything else, and you know, go nah, not done us, in his words. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. <laughs> oh dear. If I waste that, I'm gonna kick us off. Yeah. So have you all had a good weekend? Anyway, we've had it a busy weekend. Yeah, haven't been in the house much at all this weekend. And the weather has been beautiful. So what's anybody else out there in the world of chat vaping on? Anything new? Did anybody get anything new at the meet yesterday? Sandy, how's your drip tips? How's your tip, Sandy? Um, John, what did you buy? Is there any shop left? <laughs> Chris, how was the journey? And John, how was the journey? Um, Sainty, did you speak? <laughs> All these questions and more need to be answered. I was glad I wasn't at it. I've only ever made like made one of their meets. That was good. So Bruce tip is good. Please mind the uh, loud mouse kids outside. Or please don't mind them even. Very, very tiring. We need to get you all over here sometime. Yeah, Before just think, you. it would probably cost less for people to travel to Northern Ireland yeah, I suppose. than it would do to go to Scotland. I mean, all Chris would have to do is just get on a ferry from Liverpool to Belfast. I booked the wrong return ticket too, and luckily I made the last train out of Glasgow to Liverpool on a Saturday night. Oof, that was lucky. Bet that cost a fortune though. I got some drip tip from Brew, and Chris brought me the right. Ooh, a valerian toothpick. Bought me a valerian toothpick. Ooh. Mm. Very nice. And how is it? <laughs> what happens in Glasgow stays in Glasgow. Yeah. Sandy, it's not Fight Club. No, it's it's it's, it's Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> She's sitting scrubbing up my post-it notes for her feet. Look at the state of them! Like, Hang on. I'm a bit nervous tonight. We haven't been live in like forever. Look at forever. the state of that! Sitting crumpling up our feet. <laughs> my post it notes. I know, my feet can actually touch the floor when the chair's down this low. It's Las Vegas, not Fight Club. It is. What happens in Fight Club stays in Fight Club. 
Rule number one is don't talk about Fight Club. Number two, rule number two is don't talk about Fight Club. Rule number three, what happens if Fight Club stays in Fight Club? I would totally talk about Fight Club. What happens if Vegas stays in Vegas as well? <laughs> I wouldn't. It's still not. Betty Chris does. <laughs> right, need this other. Don't talk to Sean Mary Crawford. Well, I did offer. I haven't I tried it yet. I still not unpacked. Village. Why should I think it's kind of gone at the moment? Yeah, there's nothing out there at the moment that's really exciting me at all. Apart from this new blotto. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's about the only thing. Even at the minute, the passion for juices is, is just like strange at the minute. It really is. Yeah, it must be bad. I'm on the nano. I know. <laughs> I thought that like forever ago now. Chris brought loads of sweets at the meet. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Sully does sell the American candy stuff now, doesn't he, in the shop? Oh, I saw all the, the mm. cases and stuff piled high. I'm on the double moral with the Zeus and the very special. Yeah, that no, Hawk Blue mod is the mint. It's the dog's bollocks, ain't he? Oh, yeah, I love it. Hills to enjoy that, mate. It's absolutely beautiful. I like how you steam steampunked it for him. But once again, um, you know, the man who can, Jamesy, has stood up, has jumped up to the mark again. Mm. Jay, even not Jamesy, Jay. Mm. Get it right, Roy. Jay. Two full carrier bags full of treats. Ooh, yes. Oh, message sent, but it's not seen as it's. Uh, oh. Oh my God, that's that early in the morning. Yeah, I keep forgetting these and Oz. I would have done the same, Chris. Chris, I probably would have done the same as well. A lot of been cans of cans of pop, I suppose. All that, oh, the proper bubble gum pop and stuff like that. And mine would have been sweets. Because <laughs> I don't like their chocolate, American chocolate or candy. Oh, by the way, Chris, mm -hmm. since it's American stuff, did you get any water? <laughs> Or did you? We actually had, did. You have a free choice to decide if you wanted to have water or not. That is, the, that is another question that needs to be asked over the weekend. Did they have water? <laughs> they're not American. They're just American sweets. You're not getting what I'm meaning. No. Do you want water? I know what you're meaning. Yeah, American. Never mind. Never mind. You shall. I'm on Coca Cola tonight instead of coffee, which is shocking for me. Ducky. For some reason, I am just hitting my own honeydew and red berries liquid. It has so many flavors of our favorite. I bought stuff. Some I bought some stuff for M two, but where the bins be down when she gets back? I had some. Oh, well, but you're missing our Chris. Because it has been like a little lost puppy. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to be the same when I lose you for like two days. Yeah, because I'm going away for a whole two days. For my, cause I start a new job in September. Start of September, I start a new job. Uh, I think we should add Mark to some group. <laughs> Let's add him to some vape group. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Everybody has group raids and everything else. Let's just do an add Mark, add add TVP to groups. I think you should name and shame. Because I've just launched up Facebook. Because I forgot to spam out that we're up, that we're live. Um, hello. I think suppose anybody that watches this show is ready, mm. probably, and I'm watching. So who likes my tart and little me pod? Isn't that cool? <laughs> It's my little bit of Scotland. Although, to be fair, it's more Scottish over here than it is back there. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. No, no one. one. Saint A. You're so mean. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... <sighs> I suppose in my job at the minute, the company I'm with at the moment um, changed the dynamics of the IT section 
and made it into squads. So in the squads you've got developers, technical analysts, their best squad lead and testers. So there's not no really for me to go. I can be a tester or I can then side move to be a, a technical analyst or learn to be a test or a developer. Which let's be honest, I'd be shit at. Um so I was just I was basically stagnating and not going anywhere. So I looked around and I found a different company that my job title changes from being a, a test analyst to a QA analyst but they have got a structured system tiered system for you before you can see your progression so instead of getting in a cosmic experience instead of getting in just a grade one I'm going in as a grade two which gives me plenty of scope then to start climbing up the ladder plus excuse me it's a little bit more money but the downfall is I have to go down to Dublin I used to do QA for Sony, it was fun. For this, the, the company I'm working, QA tester and QA lead, I was basically a um, test lead in my place in all about in all of name and pay. Because I was doing all those things that a test lead would do, organising the test and organising people to write the test, everything else. But now that the company I'm joining, which is a company called um, Xplio, um, they have 25,000 employees in 25 countries. Um, I get hired out, rented out, pimped out as a consultant in the different companies to the QA. So it'll give me a wide, wide range. I'm actually hoping the gig that I get on to is going to be the NHS because they're replacing their um, pager system with a mobile based messaging system that has to be secure and everything else and it really sounds interesting I've noticed there's a lot of Android based QA test positions uh, going in Ireland at the moment Southern Ireland especially Empire Chris, Southern Ireland has got absolutely a shit ton because they've got um, the headquarters, the European headquarters of both Google and Facebook down in Dublin oh. but in Northern Ireland at the minute in, in Belfast a hell of a lot of the big IT companies are setting up, like Kinos, Centrix, um, what's the other big American one? Oh, I can't think. But they've all opened up. They think the talent pool, especially for developers, um, coming out of Queen's University, is absolutely huge, and the talent pool is there for it. I get notifications from LinkedIn all the time. I keep getting asked for my CV or interview because they have my... Yeah, it's it's funny, Chris, because as soon as I didn't really use LinkedIn that much and hadn't updated it with any information, um, but as soon as I put on there and was having three years experience of test, no, five years experience of test in total, it's, I just get hit with all these positions and I wasn't I was really happy with the company I was at and I was really happy well until this time last year I suppose I was really happy with where it was and my progress and everything else and thought hey, it's going places but no it's all changed nine years nearly one month short of nine years with the company so but Sony that is that would be that would be prestige you know Sony having Sony in your CV sounds a lot better than having Viridian or Par and I well, I suppose if you're over in England, it would be like having um, Scotch Power, Scotch Power, or Aeon, or oh, something like that. that? SSE or SSE. Yeah. Or, oh, I spit on them. <laughs> SSE or Tricity. <laughs> I spit on them. They're so expensive, that company. Good thing. Good thing is Nate Energy can jump all over the place quite easily. Yeah, once you get. Once you get knowledge, but the one good thing I suppose coming out of it is they're going to train me up on uh, test automation, which is something a skill that I'm lacking. Um, using Solarium and stuff like that. So if I can get that under my belt, then the world's me oyster. World's the oyster. I was head content for um, a company that basically what they would do is Monday to Thursday I'd work in England. So they fly me out on Monday morning, fly me back on a on a Thursday, work from home on a Friday. But yeah, the wages were good for that and everything else. And I don't mind seeing you every but weekend. But <laughs> I wouldn't be wouldn't be comfortable being away from Michelle and leaving her with the kids Monday to Thursday. So all by ourselves. 
America. In a, in a weird country. <laughs> no, I like this pink now. But she's adapted. Michelle has really adapted to Northern Ireland really quickly and really well. I can even I can even hear myself. I can hear a little twang it's every so often. It's she does. She says things in Northern Ireland accent. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she be talking about Alameda soon. She be talking about the sheep in them field. Hey boy. Hey. You, no. you up there? Get them out to them no. sheep. Get you get, get up that turn there, boy, and get them bought. Hey. No. <laughs> she be talking like that soon. She will. Shush no. And he's lobby going. Where the hell is she from? <laughs> I'm trying to pull over now. I had a... Chris gets this all the time, so he'll be... Whatever. <laughs> but I walked up the town today, and somebody stopped me and goes, I watch your reviews, they're really good, I enjoy them. I... <gasps> and he wanted your t-shirt. And he wanted my t-shirt, because I'm wearing this. This it's is really... So I might actually wash it and find out who he is and give it to him. But he's getting married. So he was asking me what, because um, he didn't want, he, he's running around with a sub ohm device like this, and one of on the top side, it's actually quite a big, no, it's a big poo too. Hmm. Um, Is he deaf? Well, Saint. No, Saint, <laughs> he, he just suffers from insomnia, and he needs something to put him to sleep. It's being happy with your home life that counts as much as work. Yeah, Bill, totally agree. It's, well, the thing about it was, suppose, at the beginning of this year, um, beginning of this year I wasn't so happy my, well, I'd got this this house and I was happyish in that but my home side of things life balance wasn't really good so I was just throwing myself into work and then Michelle came along and changed all that Chris I knows what that's with his Chris knows what that's <laughs> like as well and then it's getting that that work balance right but yeah Chris you can see Chris's comment it is like that. It's just like, oh my god! You just like somebody watches me. What? But Chris, you're you're just short of you're just short of fourteen thousand. By the way, if any of the eighteen people watching are not sub to Chris Empire Vape Co, go over and give him a wee sub. And buy his juice. So his juice. <laughs> it's more sub to the guy. He's short, just short of fourteen thousand. Um, Eleven short. So it would be nice if we could get him just over the fourteen. Good evening, Samuel. Hey, Zan. Um, just get him over the fourteen thousand. That's his. That's that there. But <laughs> most of you will know it. Anyway. Um, yeah. So he is, and if he's very lucky. He might even see sometimes the odd time wee appearance from Christina taking over his channel. She's funny. She's fierce. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> I actually quite like her. She's so cute. Um, but yeah, but my life at the minute is just has been manic. At the weekends, we're never in. No. We're out Friday, Saturday. But this week we potentially could be out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Michelle has been to three corners of Northern Ireland. Three corners of Northern Ireland. Just need to get her down to Enniskillen now to get to the four four corners of Northern Ireland covered. But um, we haven't been. I say we hardly ever set in, and we just the kids love it. Get no. out. So I apologise for missing all the shows. <laughs> so that's but in the winter time, we'll be able to watch them all. <laughs> yeah, come after September, we'll be able to watch. We'll be back to normal watching all shows and everything else again. Mm. Um, you know, sometimes it's even a, a push struggle to get back here. Last week, um, I wasn't in the right mind frame to do a show, and honestly, if I'd have come on and done a show last week, I probably would have upset a few people. Um, so. It was better being safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Even with Michelle grounding me at times, I am. I'm. How can I put it? Very straightforward in what I say. I say what I think, and sometimes I don't even think what I. S well, I don't think before I say it. It just comes out, and it can come out all wrong. But. 
think it's going to tell me off for looking at my phone. He is. Stop looking at your phone. Yeah. What? So, Chris, are you getting the shop all back to normal again? And well, it's, it's not the shop no more. It's Fort Knox now. Mm. Fort Knox. God, that must have been awful then. From the four corners of Earth comes the idea of the globe's four corners. What, Bill? Empire 51 is complained. <laughs> um, oh, I love it. Empire 51. <laughs> Hiya, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Empire 51. How are you keeping, Jordan? What are you vaping on this evening? Um, no, it's more Fort Knox than Empire 51. I reckon. I think you should get them retina thingy. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> uh, Rog, that's more important than listen to me blither on and Michelle's tweet on. Tweet on? What? <laughs> I'm so shy tonight, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> good, and a vampire that's vape. Good. Ooh, what vampire vape? Yeah, you can't just say vamp. There's, There's like... Hundreds <laughs> of flavours of vampire. <laughs> I know. Well, go check out Flat Earth Section of Society and members across the globe. Yeah, I love that saying. I absolutely love that, Melinda. It's that's what they've actually got on, on their on their Facebook. The Flat Earth Society. Yeah, the Flat Earth Society that believes the Earth is flat. What this to this day? Yeah. But they've got members all across the globe. Oh for crying out. Do they don't know a globe means A globe is round, yeah. Bloodsucker. Ah, oh, blood sucker for a vampire. I suppose that's why it's called the atmosphere, because for a sphere. Mm, there's atmospheres around it, yeah, no, outside. <laughs> blood sucker. Ooh, what does that taste like? Don't forget, Melinda, whenever you go home, stop. Don't go past Australia, because if you go past Australia, you'll fall off. <laughs> oh, God. You'll just go get to Australia and you go. Donkey. You can't just come back round again to America. You you drop off the edge and that's it. You're gone. You're away. We'll never see you again. I suppose they believe in aliens and stuff as well. Then, if they believe that the world is flat. I don't believe as much in aliens, but I do believe there's other life forms out there. I don't know why we call them aliens because because they're alien to us. Yeah, we so can't be alien to yeah. them. But in the whole of the universe, okay, we can't be the only planet with the unique. Um, conditions that there is here to cause life on Earth, mm. being the distance we are away from the sun, <coughs> there has to be another planet out there is exactly the same. That's exact. Well, not exact replica, but exactly the same that had exactly the same conditions. It's been. Um, maybe they haven't got as much rain as we have over here, <laughs> but there has to be know, something. I don't even know that Scotland has enough enough of this rain. No, I can't talk. They probably share members with those who say that Australia doesn't exist <laughs> and that it's a huge conspiracy to based out of, out of Africa <laughs> but the joke there is some people out there that still believe that Liverpool will win the league someday sorry I'll, I'll rephrase that there is still people out there that believe that Liverpool will win the Premiership League I run and hide from Chris <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we shouldn't talk about um, the Charity Shield. What Charity Shield? Oh, the Charity Shield football match was today. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. It was between Man City and Liverpool. I'm a My Edit fan, like, so it doesn't bother me in the slightest. We didn't win anything to get there, near there. Did Man City win? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chris, she's laughing at you, mate. Sorry. Man City. What do you mean to on. say Australia is real? <laughs> no. Village, I do believe Australia is real. I just don't believe Australian Australians are real. <laughs> oh, we went into a nice little vape shop this weekend as well where we were out gallivanting. Yeah, if anybody's in Northern Ireland, they're ever down Kilkill Way. Um, there's a wee shop called Kilkill Kilkill Vapes. That's easy for me to say. Um, 
it's a wee independent store and the guy's got I would say a very good range of, of juice in there which he's going to be expanding um, for just being like running the shop on his own like you know it's a wee independent well, he's like Chris Yeah. he's an independent retailer like Chris um, but I suppose the one thing where Chris knows quite a few of the, the distros now so he can get his juices in that way and, he, and 12 monkeys and, mm-hmm. and the a, was it ADB he's with but over here it's we've got a couple of ones like Titanic which is starting to do distro Dems, yeah. um, and they're bringing out they've got a huge range of their own juices out now between drip sauce, Titanic, lime the f- and then you've also got um, Root Boy Northern Ar- the, the Northern Ireland shops um, in all honesty have had to due to the, the lack of distros in Northern Ireland I should sit forward so you can talk to me I guess rather than looking back at me um, I've had to go out and do their own Bring their own, make their own juices mm-hmm. to be able to get more juice. <coughs> there must be other planets that can support life. It's whether it's they have the combination of the atmospheric and gravitational additions they created. No village. The country is actually just a spot out in the middle of Africa, and we and we import actors to <laughs> pretend they're Aussies. It's a place of both that's awesome and dead and deadly. Is a place that's both awesome and deadly really exist? What the hell? Just how many vape shops does Northern Ireland have? Stop mm-hmm. hoarding them all and share them with yourself. I know, right? <laughs> right. This is just this is this is just now. If you take Balamina, Balamina means middle town. So we're in the middle of County Antrim, which is one of six counties in Northern Ireland. Within the space of of where we are now, there is six in Balamina. So all those shops are within a mile of this house. Only a couple of them are stall ones, though, aren't they? No, yeah, one stall. Well, only one, that one, yeah. anyway. So there's five shops within a mile of this house. You go up the road, 11 mile up the road, you have Andrum Esig, which is a fantastic mm. shop. You go on up the road into Newton Abbey, you've got three and four in there. You go into Belfast, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine in Belfast, so that's 30 miles that way, or going 30 miles southwards. Going northwards, you've got between here and Port Rush, three. Port Stewart's got one. Coleraine's got three. Um, so like... Pretty much every town's sort of got between one and three vape shops. Yeah. Every town. And I would say no matter where you are in Northern Ireland, the furthest you have to go to a half decent vape shop is ten miles. Good night, John. Good night, Jude. Good night, John. John, look night, after Jude. yourself and send me an email during the week, mate. Make sure you're okay. Yeah, get well soon. What can't kill you in Australia? Some of the sheep. Is there sheep there? Y- yeah. <laughs> I thought it'd be too hot for sheep over my, in Australia. My great uncle. No, he didn't have sheep. Oh, well, he had sheep. Yeah, he had a couple of sheep. He had a few. He had a few cows and a couple of sheep. I thought it'd be too twenty thousand sheep and one hundred and fifty thousand cattle. I thought it'd be too hot over there for sheep. No. And stuff no. like that. Sheep can kill you. Just ask Mo what happened if you kick them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, really, this is a so-called place where there's a level beyond catastrophic when it comes to oh yeah, bushfires. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does even know what rain looks like out there? Well, out in outer airs rock, I know it's, they don't really know much about rain. On the outbacks. Yeah. I remember. I remember that this kid and did a. She did a project on Australia. It's quite funny. That was years ago, now, maybe. But just think, there's that many things all going round that you can eat. You'd never go hungry. Yeah. It's at least 20 miles to the nearest passable vape shop. Oh my God, Bill. Mind you, saying that, when I was in Edinburgh, there wasn't really that many. There was vape shops, but you'd have to like trade a kidney for something to be fair. Right. I wonder if I can share pictures while I'm online. So I was like, you know... Just had to online it all the time. Here it's great. I actually avoid the vape shops here because I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be skinny or lose my day, one or the two. 
Don't show me his page. I didn't show you eight. It's back again. Right. Can I share this? No, can money on? Because mm, you're see. on OBS. There you go. If I move us up to there. And then if I do this. Uh, window capture. No, doesn't like that. Oh crap, it's raining. I said to you it was raining. Look at washing it's raining. Right, right, I'm going to Copy. save image as EE. And then add image EE. Browse. Downloads. is okay so what i'm going to show you is half a wall of one of the small half a yeah this is half a wall of one of the smaller vape shops in northern ireland um antrim e-cigs is a is a very small is quite small shop in antrim it's 11 mile up the road and this is just one wall of their shop there is another Two walls, exactly the same as that. Right, that's behind the counter. That's behind the <coughs> counter. Oh, so I can actually see what's at the bottom now. Hi, Tedley. <laughs> I can never see. Mm. I can never see what's down at the bottom. <laughs> that's that is as I say. He's another two walls of that, exactly the same. Um, that's the short fill walls, and then you've got one wall one wall's got all the ten mils, so all your vampire vape, your diamond mess stuff and daily vape. Next shots and all that Daily vapor. Um next shots are no the next shots are just down below the counter. So that's the sort of that's just how well our shops are stocked over here just for juices. During the day thirty degrees, during during winter thirty degrees and dropping so much zero at night. Oof, that's some temperature drop. So Tetley, how would you like to sort of walk into that sort of a range of, I'll have to see if I've got one of his um, hardware cabinet. What's like, how do you like those apples? <laughs> oh, blooming heck, I've done it again. <laughs> but even this, even the other like Ballonina Bait Club is getting quite good nowadays. Ask ten times the total stock of all the people selling vape stuff on Whitby. <laughs> <laughs> looks like my kitchen cupboard. That's like all the shops in Edinburgh. All the vape shops in Edinburgh combined. Right, let's see if yeah. I can find just one of his hardware. Oh, andy has got the IPVs in now. Yeah. I think you on after that. <laughs> <Michelle>. <laughs> hey, I see the magic number there. What's that all about? That's that's his hardware. He puts one of the sort of one each out in display, um, and then has all the rest of them in the store out the back or right under the counter. The range of stuff, sort of the, all the top rows across, both in the top two shelves, 
are all sort of your starter kits and everything else and then you've got your the bigger mods going around that and then across the bottom is your rebuildable stuff and they just go all oh, shiny <laughs> shiny shiny I sort of go you go in there and it's like actually you were worse than me last time I do I get really I'm really bad when I walk into that shop because <laughs> Barry that owns the shop knows what I'm like and he knows that if he throws a price at me I'm more likely to go yeah he sees you coming he does he sees me coming <laughs> But fair play to the guy, I end up probably paying just over cost price. That's no, no, that's not Vape Hunter. Um, technically, that's um, Andrew Meesig, a small independent one man one man shop. Um, Barry runs that, owns and runs that shop. He has put so much work into it in the last three years to get it where it is now. But Barry's the type of person, he will buy, if he believes in something, or somebody gives him an idea on something, he will go out, don't lie Roy, that's not a shop, you've been, it's not going to take me a few picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys, that's just villages. Yeah, that's just uh, villages, that's villages um, spare room, yeah. that's his spares that he doesn't use. <laughs> but that's, now, bear in mind, most shops around Northern Ireland are stocked. Maybe half the quantity of that. You're probably looking at Titanic and Andrew Meesig are being the ones who be stocked fully like that. The rest of the shops um, probably would have half that amount of hardware. Um, but why did I do that again? And the shop is so busy. Like we went in one day for a few hours and it was like non-stop. I was like, wow. This is busy. <laughs> Considering I've been at a few other shops and I've been like just the odd few people. Yeah, he's just constant. He he puts a bargain on. Um, his prices are spot on. And I I personally think it's the way to go mm -hmm. because it's he goes for volume of sales as opposed to making. You know, Spitstead is making an extra pound here and a pound there and stuff. He goes for total volume on sales. Bill! 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 I told you, <laughs> That's where we've been all weekend. You weren't supposed to let him know. <laughs> Village, I'll be seeing you in October. Yeah, same as you, Bill. Um, Melinda... Village is banned from going to any more expos. <clears throat> Unless it brings me back some goodies. <laughs> I'm kidding. I didn't appear sure that what expo was. Well but people give away my secrets. <laughs> First bill, no <now> secret. <laughs> I was like, oops. I told you not to climb in that window. Didn't I tell you? I said get the ladder first, but no, no. It's Village's fault. <laughs> this is one of these ones where I can sue Village. Village <laughs> left a mod lying on his floor exactly where he knew he thought somebody would walk in the window, go climb in the window, and then trip on it and twist it my knee. Mm. <clears throat> no. He really worked it. Oh, for God's sake. Can't keep nothing secret these days. <laughs> oh, dear. Ha 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 ha. Since a thief in cold water doesn't go down very well. I can't find where I put the calibre. I don't know either. That's it, you've tidied the place, now you can't find nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Never let anybody talk you into tidying something. Because I honestly can't find anything anymore. <coughs> I used to have a, a complete mess across the desk with loads of stuff all over it and I knew exactly where everything was. No, I can't find nothing. I never told you. And it's you. the same for Michelle. She she can't find her. She can't. She's put her bill kit somewhere. Bill kit? I don't, and I've seen it as well. I just can't remember where I've seen it. And it's annoying. Because <laughs> like everything. Yeah, needs to I can experiment on you in village. Well, I'm thinking to make a new type of chocolate cake. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna miss Considering it. Considering it done, Michelle. Guess who's going to be getting multiple bottles of Hot Heisenberg? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you know what Roy likes Heisenberg so it wouldn't go a waste <laughs> oh, 
how could you just like Heisenberg? I love Heisenberg. No, I don't know. It's, it tastes floral to me. And I'll, I don't know what sort of flowers Michelle's been eating. It's the aniseed in it. It just. Mm. Mm. Very true, but I did. I put them on. Although, to be fair, the Berg, I could tolerate that. Because it didn't have aniseed in it. The chocolate Guinness. Chocolate oh, Guinness cake Guinness was white chocolate with <gasps> cream cheese. Oh, frosting. my friend used to make a Guinness cake. Oh my God. Like, just. Mm. And I don't like Guinness, but that was really. I don't like Guinness either. No, but the cake's good. I'll give you a little hint, Melinda. I'll give you a wee hint. If you can buy the bottles of Guinness, the glass bottles of Guinness, Use those instead of using the tins of Guinness. That's all I'm saying. If you can get bottles of Guinness to cook with, cook with those as opposed to the cans of draft Guinness. I'll give you that as a hint. It makes a huge difference, by the way. Um, if you use cans of draft Guinness, especially to make a cheesecake or a Guinness cake, um, it'll become very heavy and stodgy. Where if you use the bottles of the Guinness stout, and the glass, it actually airs them. Yay, I can get the bottles at the supermarket. Yeah. It does look like a pint of Guinness when you make it. I've seen it. It does. I've tasted it. I think yeah. it's good. But the bottles, are, the bottles make a far better um, <coughs> cake with. I want cake now. I might. I'm not supposed to eat most of that. Thanks, uh, diabetes. <gasps> make a sugar free one. Or, I don't know, depends what diabetes is. Um, use ice and sugar instead of sugar. Isn't that the same though? Ice and sugar is different than, than, real, than proper sugar. I'm going to put ice and sugar in my coffee for tea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I forgot to buy sugar. You should. <laughs> That's it. I've been having castor sugar in my coffee <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the morning. Because uh, Michelle's up the time more than I am. I always forget to buy sugar when I'm there. If I make them into cupcakes, hidden. you can take one either in stages, maybe. Mm -hmm, cupcakes. Hey, Puddin' Puffle. Evening, Puddin' Puffle. <laughs> I hear you got, Bunny bought you over some um, of the, uh, of the... Um, the Bucky. The Bucky. <laughs> Did you try it? So, since you've got some food, I'm going to give a bottle of this to um, Mo and a bottle. Because I did get two bottles. Oh, yeah, because isn't Mo doing a thing now? We're going to give. Try and with, yeah, we're doing with Jules as well. So, I'm mm. sending a bottle to Mo and I'm sending a bottle across to, to Village. And one for Jules too, did you say? No, no, I've got one for Jules. I can get one for Jules. I also have a reaction to yeast and stout. Thanks to another Meritech. Oh. Oh. I um um, Bill. I've I've just got no words, mate. <laughs> I've got no words. If you've seen the amount of crap that I ate, I should have diabetes. But he eats more than I do. Like I was shocked. It's I like, thought I binge eat during the day. <gasps> oh, they're so good. Mm. Chocolate <coughs> chip and caramel bits digestive biscuits. Very yummy. What else have we got down here? Oh, we've got um, Galaxy. You like the finger test? Oh we my god. Fritella. You like the finger test. Mm. Mm -mm. White chunky Kit Kat. Oh, there's lemon Kit Kat still in the car. <gasps> Better than all this. Um, Cookies. Raspberry and white chocolate scone. A scone? An empty box of... Who ate my last one of these? I didn't. What is it? The Kimberly Elite. Mm. You gave one to Kira Ann. So there was one left. I don't know. It doesn't mean. Unless it's for like... Class. I managed to get a hold of some empty 10ml bottles. So I've got some juice. I need to get... Sent, sent over for you Peter. too. Ooh. Oh, what juice? Ah, fair enough. Did you want to try the ultimate bourbon maple, maple bacon chocolate cake? I'll be bringing instead. 
Barbie. Um, a finger test. Oh God, I suppose. Oh dark, poor dark. Even the smell. I'm on lips of the drug that means I had to give up the beer and really limit it. Yeah, for God's sake. I bet you did put it into enough. But enough was a CBW to do didn't taste the <laughs> Oh God. Village. Did you wiggle it? Michelle, no. To vape. <laughs> that way round. I know, I know. That way round, Michelle vapes. I'm not vaping. I'll just. The bucket had you all giddy yesterday. I don't know how anybody could drink like that. Like honestly, it's like the signature drink here. Like when, oh, honestly, you just everyone's like, yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> like seriously. Do you know monks still actually make that stuff? Yeah. With their bare feet, stinky feet. Squish, squish, squish. Yeah. So gross. <laughs> The Benedict monks over here used to make a drink as well. I just see when someone says monks, is I always just picture Friar Tuck <laughs> from um, Robin Hood. <laughs> I picture uh, the monks from the remember the potato advert I showed you. Oh my god! What yeah. says Friar? <laughs> I don't know. It all good in mud. That's Friar Tuck. It is. Sure, Friar Tuck. Still, nuns and monks that run the shop, etc. at the Abbey, apparently it's beautiful. It is, the, the Abbey is beautiful. I, I can't deny I was a little drunk yesterday. And that was just smelling the fumes of it, village got you drunk, never mind drinking the bloody stuff. What just vibrated then in the table? I don't know. Your phone? Probably. Probably. Sainty, were you drunk? I can't remember the last time I was drunk, to be fair. I don't really drink to get drunk anymore. It kills anything that comes into contact with us. As long as the monk mm. isn't called Harry. <laughs> Harry Monk. I don't know. Monk Harry. I don't know. I don't know. And they have lost you've lost me on that one. Oh cider. Bonnie looked quite merry in the pictures. As she did. You could tell by her eyes that she was quite merry. She was probably partaking in a beverage or three. Or four or more. <laughs> She's out topless. Not to well, we top on it's raining. Armless. And topless. Topless. <laughs> I don't mean to say topless. Oh Bunny was sozzled. She had a great day. <laughs> yeah. I oh know, that looks so much fun though. Right, I drank a bottle as well as nearly half a bottle of Grey. Now, Grey Goose, that, that is what you call a drink. Is that vodka? It's so smooth. It is. It is just, it's like drinking water. It's gorgeous. Mean spirits don't get along. Unless they're in a cocktail, then it's fine. Love this nano tank. It's just... You just try and get you the bubble glass for it. Every time I go into the shop, they're like, "Oh, I don't know if it's on." They're not getting it, and they just said he, he just yeah. said to me, "Mister said to me, he told you that you can get a bubble glass for it." I thought he said he was getting it in, oh. and he would let me know. Seems we have a mega electrical storm coming. <coughs> Who knows? Yeah. <gasps> I've seen one. Chris is one. Chris is going on to Pornhub. <laughs> 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 Electrical storms are awesome. That's when they pure light up the whole sky. It is so cool. I've seen a few of them. Must be three for four. Oh, there it's there. Well, I um, I've actually got myself an in another wee TV series. Well, actually, he got me into it. Heroes. <laughs> it's I love from it. A, from it so it's good. from a while ago. Look at this, folks. Yeah. Oh, come three on, away. Three more. I know, but everybody that's probably watching has already subbed. I'm guessing. Jordan. 
Jordan, if you're still listening, have you subscribed to Chris Empire Vape Co yet? If not, get across and subscribe, please. That's the, that's that's his link. Any of these other fourteen people out there that's what not subbed yet, that's watching, listening, whatever you're doing, <laughs> just give him a wee cheeky sub if you're not already subbed to it. Come on, he's only three away. Let's get him to the fourteen k while we're on this show because we're not staying on for for, two, for the two hours tonight. Because I've got a binge show to watch. A binge show. A um, short binge watch. <laughs> I'm absolutely cream craggered. My knee is killing me, and. My head's a wee bit scary at the minute as well, so... It's been a long weekend. It's been a long, good weekend, though. Mm. Oh, a long, good weekend. Mm. Oh, my God, the ice yet? cream. Mods ice cream. Oh. If anyone comes over here and sees a Mods ice cream shop, go in it and just get ice cream. It's delicious. It's yeah. Pooh Bear ice cream and oh. banana ice cream is gorgeous. I had Pooh Bear ice cream and mint chocolate chip, and that was um, very yummy. And... Peter had bubblegum. Sky had strawberry. Strawberry. When I started watching, he was under one k. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I'm not as not as long term watcher as you, Chris, or sorry, Bill. Um, but I think he was he was about three or four k whenever I started watching him. He was about three k. I. Yeah. Oh, must have been under three k then. He was about 3k when I started watching him. Yeah, I probably started just watching before you. Yeah. I remember he was like 3,000 and odd. What did you do to your knee? Did you fall into a door again? Right. No, Mr. Summerfield, when I fall into doors, that's with my hand. <laughs> um, I wasn't out inspecting taxis either. He was being naughty, so I pushed him. <laughs> I'll get in. Yeah. Michelle headbutted <laughs> me in the kneecap. Yeah, I did. Um, and the, uh, it was something very simple as kneeling down on the road to take pictures as I stood up my knee popped but it's a kneecap that um, I had smashed when I was younger he fell out of village's <laughs> window trying to steal some of his mods on Saturday um, I smashed the kneecap when I was younger and there's a plastic kneecap in it and it was all the ligaments that they attached them to the back of it and everything else and it popped so and I've probably done some damage to some ligaments and, and nerves in there mm. and tendons so I have got this big monstrosity to put on but while I'm sitting here I need to keep my knee bent so but it's an absolute agony then I twisted it I was going over get, I sort of get over the bed and Michelle pushed me I did not and push it. it. I twisted my knee again on there, so. You should have just said, Michelle, can you, like, just move that and stuff? And then last night as well, I got poked in the eye with a flag. Oh, yeah. Not by me. And then <laughs> um, Kira Ann, the eldest, stood on my f- foot. <laughs> so did the youngest, Sky. Um, Peter hasn't actually hurt me this week at all. So. Not me either. No, not yet. No, you just do it in your sleep. <laughs> That's what you're saying, in my sleep. Yeah. I sleep like a rock star. I sleep like... No, do not show them that picture. Do not! Apparently I sleep like Jesus. <laughs> Wasn't Don't. that when I was going to show? Oh, thank God. Don't show any more, please. No! Oh yeah, I was grumpy in my sleep. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle doesn't think she's grumpy in her sleep. <laughs> I'll leave this. Michelle is out for the count here, folks, okay? Bearing in mind, she is totally out for the count. You should have been in the morning. I was like, what? That's your look on my face. Oh my god. Right, okay, take it off now. How <laughs> grumpy. How <laughs> grumpy does she look? <laughs> Michelle. Perhaps Roy should have just made you the cup of eggy talking to you, otherwise you're going to be fishing out of your mouth. I know, right? I know. Sounds like Michelle's kids are trying to kill you up. <laughs> yeah, it does. Is it? Now, waiting the delay coming back now from the picture because of the 20 second delay or something to see what people say about the picture. Oh, God. Yeah. There was one where I was sleeping like that. Yeah. Arms both out, like. 
Jesus. <laughs> Arms are folded. She looks pissed off. Did he fart in bed? I think she was trying to <laughs> fart in bed. I don't even know. He just showed me that in the morning. I was like, oh my god. I was like, I must have been really pissed off in my dream. I don't know what app, obviously. I can't remember. Maybe you were in my dream and you did something and just peed off. Yeah. I even have their hair as well. Rockstar hair. Seriously, I hate watching TV programs, like TV shows and stuff, and they all wake up and their hair's like all oh, still beautiful, and I'm just like, oh, I wake up like a monster every morning. <laughs> no way. He'd messaged me that when he was at work. I was like, you're arse. <laughs> <laughs> but she sleeps like that all the time. She's like, don't. Dump. <laughs> Ugh, the face. I'd be pissed off you taking <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Maybe you had your flash on. Jesus, Jesus. Uh, unless please. you sponge you in the either the face of the ball, it's fine. She has in the face. I'm Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Told you, I sleep like a rock star. I just need a technical or dream coat now. I'm glad I amuse you. <laughs> I'm glad my sleeping stances amuse you, seriously. And you get woke up to the sound of trumpets in the morning. <laughs> or sometimes I'll just talk in my sleep as well and you're like, what? Yeah, that's, it, it is quite funny. <laughs> I get up at quarter past six in the morning and I bring Michelle up a cup of coffee around ten to seven. And she's normally asleep. And some t- some of the mornings I'll leave the coffee and she'll say, oh, thank you for the cup of coffee and blah, 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 blah. Talk away to me. I'll go have my shower, come back, and she'll go, she'll wake up and go, what time is it? And I'll say, whatever it is, five past ten, past seven, whatever. And then it sings like, did your coffee there? Oh, why wouldn't you bring that up? <laughs> you just need to thing. nut Roy in your sleep, Michelle, to show him who's your boss. I know. I can't reach, you know, Melinda. Melinda? <laughs> Melinda? Are we going to fall out? I am the boss. He knows it. Are you the boss? Yep. No. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. No way. No way. Um, who do the kids listen to anymore? I forgot to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because they're used to my voice. I use my authoritarian, authoritative tone. <laughs> yeah. I need to work on that. I will send Michelle a taser in Royal Fairy. Yes, yeah, yeah. He was on about getting a bug zapper, and I was like, oh, that could be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who for, but you know. I've had arguments and conversations oh. with my husband, honestly. It must be a girl saying that. I don't know. You can have full, you can, you can have full blown conversation with Michelle. My kids talk in her sleep too, it's hilarious. Oh, it's scary when they sleepwalk though. Well, Kate Ann's not done that in years, thank God. I think she's gone out, but. <laughs> I've always talked in my sleep though. Even though right, I'm lazy. Is anybody else going across to my left? What's on that? Nope. Do, 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 do. So. Right, an upside of Michelle not in your sleep. She can kiss the blue goo water. Ah! <laughs> oh, Melinda. So, is there anybody, anybody known of anything else that comes out new or interesting? I'm not going to go down and sort of start news articles and new things because Steve, Dave, and um, Brew and Bunny talk about those things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they're, show, they're traveling back tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow morning they're travelling back. So their show should still be on tomorrow night, the islands in on the clouds. Um, over on Twitch. Um, you've got Jules and her show. On Tuesday. And that's got the monthly the monthly bad juice session with Pud and somebody else. Oh, is that every week now? Every month. Oh, Doing that month. once a month. Mm. 
once a month. Um, so it's Pud and there's somebody else. Mo. Mo, yeah. So Pud, Mo and Jules doing the bad juice thing. You have the good old boy, good old boys. I don't know if they'll be back on again for a while because Salford's not been the best of places recently. No, but um, Thursday night you've got um, Mark Solo. Also you've got, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of them or not, you've got somebody called, um, is it... Um, Him at the top of his empire as well. He's on it. No. The empire man. Empire biker. <laughs> you've got um, Vic in a shed. <laughs> you've got um, the angel vapor. Oh yeah. And DHL man. Oh yeah. So the four of them are on on a Thursday night in some wee tiny show that I don't know what they call it the UK vape show or something the vape mm-hmm. show UK. Friday night you've got the itches of witches. The twitchy bitches. Twitchy bitches, itchy oh. witches. <laughs> um, Saturday night sometimes you've got the still unnamed vape show with that little unknown hard up <sighs> subscriber or subber. It's vapor. unknown. I I actually like the name. Sunday, you've got, it's every other week, I think, it's Sam and Co. Is that another unnamed vape show? Well, that's the unnamed, no, is that, maybe that's unnamed vape I show. I think that's the one. Uh, that. I think, I don't know. I'm so bad, honestly, because we've not, we've Been missed all the shows. All so weekends shows. Some of the shows, like, genuinely, we can't remember the name of. Um, There's so many shows now, it's great. And then. It's good. Talking from Mo, talking to Mo earlier on, Savs has taken a break um, for a month. Or so, but Mo probably will be doing something a live show on his channel. Um, so be with Mo Bro on a Sunday evening when Sav's normally on, and he has said he'll possibly pop onto the Sunday Vape Lounge as well. Yeah. Um, so. just with everything at work at the minute, with me changing jobs and everything else, I'll probably be in the wind down from my own job soon, so I'll have enough time at night. Um, to talk to Instagrammers again to get um, some more of them on. I need to get back into Instagram again. These summer holidays is just. I want to try and get Charlie and Jay back on again because yeah. they were they were actually quite fun. Okay, yeah. turned into a unicorn show, but they were quite fun to have on and they're quite. Even lovely. Specky as well. I can't miss him around the scenes now. I miss Specky as well because he's he's quite good. They are next Sunday. Also, tales from the Om with Mark and Jarvis. Yes, I saw a bit of that earlier. Um, they had the grumpy vapor on. Maybe that was what I was about. Om run. Om run. Thank you, Andy. See, this is what I love about you guys out there. You just keep us right with the names. I just tell you that it's on. The and who's, the in, who's in the Om run crew? No idea. Yeah. yeah. Come winter time, we'll know all the names of all the shows. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never I know will. the name of all okay, the shows, right. okay. um, because I'm crap. When it comes. I'm normally a show binge watcher. Like I used to watch every. There you go, Zan, Mike, and Zan, Stevie. Mike and Stevie. Oh, it's that one. Didn't they call it the unnamed vape show before or something? I don't think they did. I think I was Vic come out with the one that's no, currently I'm unnamed. Sure somebody had a currently unnamed. Oh God, whatever. Who knows? I'm sure the I'm sure the jungle drums beat loud enough whenever the show goes on. Everybody gets its shares out there, and principal spanner of ninety nine point nine percent shows on the universe, Sainty, will, <laughs> will uh, no doubt get it spammed out. The sure show is right. I am right. Yeah. Yes, but it was changed to Omron. That's quite cool though. I like it. But um, yeah, four miles away and filled the whole sky. Yeah. Oh, I friggin' love electrical storms. I wish o- over I wish over here had better storms. There's the only time I've seen really good so- storms was either down in England or over in Germany. We had oh, Spam we had out. The links for the shows, same day. The links for the show. Not in here. Not in here. You'd spam out and everyone else. I'm going to go. Woke up once this morning. Pretty tired. Thanks for the show tonight. Linda, oh, we're welcome. going shortly anyway. It was good to see you in again. Good to see you in again. Mm-hmm. Hope you're over the, the plagues and everything else. And don't pass them on to the rest of us. Yeah, don't give it me, please. I've had my fair share of colds and coughs and everything. Yeah. 
Well, I think we're going to call it a night anyway now. It's an hour and 15 into it. We've got a lot to get done for the morning. I have to get my clothes sorted out for tomorrow. And Heroes to watch. Heroes to watch. <laughs> Michelle, you need to go to Australia and check out some of our stars. Oh, yes. I don't know. Someday, maybe. Someday. Someday. When we're in the lorry, we'll get to Australia. It's too hot over there for me. I don't think I'd handle the heat. I really don't. She talk, complains about being cold all the time. I'm so cold, but then I'm running so round in short and t-shirts, <laughs> and she's sitting with coats like, and jackets. Oh, and I bet my hands are always freezing. She's bu- and she's meant to be from Scotland, which is <laughs> one of the coldest places on the planet. Do you know what? It's because I've got a warm heart. That's why I'm always cold. See, cold hands, warm heart. I'm not an ice queen. Right, folks, so we will call it an evening. Don't forget about all the other shows. Um, give your support and love to everybody that, that is on there. Um, always check your toasties to make sure they're roasty. <laughs> <laughs> always remember battery <laughs> safety, folks. Always remember battery yeah. safety. Don't be one of the ones that has some bit of... Just wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> Any final words from yourself? Well, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Any final words from yourself? Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, I've been a bit shy tonight. I've just, uh, not been live for ages. Well, folks, thank you all for joining us. Um, headset users, please note um, there will be music coming up in very shortly. We'll give you a countdown so you can either pull out the headphones or do whatever you want to do. Turn down your volumes. But there will be music coming up very shortly. Bye. Take care. Good night. Don't be saying big thank. Don't be saying for spouse. I don't say that word. Well, don't say it. It's not in my vocabulary. I think I don't say it. I just say, have a nice day. <laughs> Keep your roasties toasty, guys. Good night. God bless, folks. Yeah, definitely cheesy balls and shell does sleep in cases.